Welcome to the video by DJ Spearc. We have a slash 4x4. Uh, I'm getting requests uh, how to show to dismantle certain stuff on the Traxxas vehicle. And what I decided to do is grab one and uh, make a, a couple of multiple videos and how to remove certain stuff on this vehicle here. And today, uh, that's what I wanted to do. One of the first thing I'll show is how to remove one of your front knuckles. Um, and then so on and so on. One of the first things definitely you'll need to do is remove your wheel off the vehicle. Now this will apply on the right or the left side. And usually what I do suggest, let's say you have uh, your left side is broken. Start dismantling this guy here, the side that you need to, you need to dismantle and use the other one as an example to remember how to put it back in or to physically remove it. Uh, tool wise, you will need a 2.5 and a three mil. For some reason, I forgot my 2.5. Some of these screws on their 2.5 and a 2 mil. This guy here is a 2.5 and this guy here is a 2 mil. Traxxas could have turned around and at least put all the same size. That would make kind of make sense. What can I say? Uh, remove your knuckle. One of the first thing I'll, I do is I pop my X out. And sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn to pop out because they are pretty solid in them. The pin that holds them. I could, you grab a flat screwdriver, go in and just twist and it pops out. And don't forget to remove your, your pin. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna to try to zoom in a little bit more. Now you have the physical knuckle right here. And I call this a knuckle holder. There is a physical name. I don't remember it by heart right now, uh, but Remove you, you, you don't need to remove if you've broken just the knuckle itself. Where half the time, where I see it, that's where the steering uh, arm goes to it, it breaks off here. You don't need to remove this guy here. Some people will start removing this and then they're able to remove this. You don't need to. Uh, what you will need to do is remove this top screw here, then this guy here. The one underneath right here and this one and you'll be able to slide this side front sideways let's say so you'll be able to remove your axle and then you'll be able to remove these these guys let's grab our two mil and physically start removing this one here and always remember where your screws go see now our knuckle is free now we remove this guy here, that is a 2 mil, that uh, 2.5 should I say. Even then you don't need to remove this one here to pop this out. Put this one aside, flip the vehicle on, in, on its side to be able to access the other one. Remove this guy. Now these two here, they're the same size. You don't need to worry. And once you have this in your hands, you'll be able to remove your knuckle and take it out. Sometimes the bearing will stay on the axle itself. 
If it does, don't worry about it, leave it there. On the knuckle itself, you do have another bearing right here. Normally what I, I do, I'll grab another screwdriver or a pick. This is one of the picks I use. I just insert it in it and it doesn't go completely off the bearing and now I'm able to put a little bit of pressure to pop the bearing off. Grab the new knuckle, pop the bearing back in, turn around, pop the other one back in and then reinsert it. You go the bottom first in, and then you'll see your top will just slide in. Then grab your knuckle screws. Screw this guy back in. And you don't need to tighten it like galore. That's the reason it has a small riser here or let's say a spacer. That's to give it to be able to, to turn on itself. And it's the bottom one. Now there is options. You could go uh, aluminum. There is an RPM part too. Now there is RPM parts on this vehicle right now. Screw this guy back. Make sure your axle is fully out. I'll put it to the side where the hole is. I don't know if you can see it yet. That way, when I put my axle pin back in, it doesn't fall off. Or X, it's keyed. I will hold, I'll hold the axle itself and just kind of wiggle it. Now, I could force it, and you hear the snap, I'm not sure if you heard it, but sometimes what I'll do, as long as it's inserted correctly, I'm going to turn around, put the wheel, and basically put the bolt back on, and you'll hear the snap. And there you go. This is how you change a knuckle on a Traxxas Slash 4x4. It's pretty much the same uh, principle on other vehicles too. Uh, again, like I suggest, the side you need to fix, take a look on the other side, it is the same, it's just opposite, and you'll be able to see how you put it back together. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button. It does help a lot. Thank you for watching.